Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at National Geographic Barbie for ages three and up. Barbie and National Geographic has teamed up to shine a little light on some awesome careers like astrophysicist, photojournalist, polar marine biologist, and wildlife conservationist. I ordered all of these online from Amazon for $14.99. I have seen a few of them at Walmart for $14.97. Just looking at the packaging, it looks like you get a doll and two to three accessories. On the back of the box, there is some information about each career. When a girl plays with Barbie, she imagines everything she can become. Astrophysicists are scientists who study the universe from right here on Earth. They investigate the history of stars and galaxies and discover how many planetary systems develop. Astrophysicists use telescopes to observe and discover what's out there, from asteroids and planets to black holes. They're passionate about space, physics, and understanding our place in the universe. Do you love to learn about the universe? You can be an astrophysicist. At the bottom, it says, in partnership with National Geographic, Barbie empowers girls to be adventurous, spirited, and enthusiastic about exploring the world. When you explore with us, you help further the work of our scientists, explorers, and educators around the world. That's pretty cool. I love learning things while reading doll boxes. Let's get this doll out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, some light assembly is required. We just have to put the telescope together. This piece snaps on there, and this goes right here. Easy enough. I'm going to say it right now, this telescope is everything! The top moves so you can tilt it back and forth so she can get a better look at the stars. It's all black and looks exactly like my telescope in my house. It comes with a paperboard cutout and a doll. She has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. She comes dressed in a galaxy print shirt with long sleeves, a ribbon across the top, and Velcros in the back. I find the neckline a little awkward. Our ribbon won't lay flat. In the picture, it's really cute, but it's just a little off on the doll. She wears black leggings and black ankle boots. Photojournalists tell important stories with pictures. They travel all over the world, photographing nature and animals like lion cubs. Their pictures tell news stories and help people understand the world around them. They are adventurous and knowledgeable about the environment and current events. Do you love to take pictures? You can be a photojournalist. Out of the box, she has a short haircut with a little product in the front. You can see some on her forehead. And her hair might require a little TLC from the packaging. Her top looks like a shirt with a green vest. The vest is printed on, it has printed pockets and a printed zipper. It velcros in the back. I would have loved to have seen the shirt and vest as separate pieces. Her pants are made of a polyester fabric that has no stretch. It does have an elastic waistband, but the lack of stretch makes the pants come down a little bit when you go to position the doll to sit. She comes with a pair of really cute boots a paperboard National Geographic magazine. It is blank on the inside and solid on the back. She has a great camera. It's all black, has lots of details, a little hand grip on the side. I am loving all the tech. And there is a baby lion cub for her to photograph. Polar marine biologists are scientists who study oceans and marine life. They're curious explorers learning about the animals, habitats, and ecosystems in the chilly polar regions at the top and bottom of the Earth. Some study plant life while others focus on animals like penguins from Antarctica. Polar marine biologists are passionate about the environment. Do you love to learn about marine life? You can be a polar marine biologist. Out of the box, 
She has brown hair with light brown highlights, wears a red parka with printed details, it has a hood, and Velcros in the front. She wears loose fit black pants and black boots. I like those boots! I would have liked to have seen a t-shirt under the parka because there is nothing else there. You need layers to handle all of that cold. Ooh. She comes with a pair of sunglasses, which is very important with all of that bright snow, and a cute little penguin. Last but not least, the wildlife conservationist. They protect wild animals like monkeys. They help wild plants maintain healthy, natural environments. They save wildlife through research and education and inspire people to value nature. They are adventurous and passionate about the environment. Do you love nature and animals? You can be a wildlife conservationist. Out of the box, she has brown hair with a reddish hue to it. She wears it pulled back in a side ponytail. She wears a button-up shirt with printed details. It has a collar and Velcros in the front. She has brown pants with an elastic waistband and green shoes. She comes with a paperboard journal with the image only on one side. And she comes with a monkey. I'm able to balance all of the dolls on a flat surface. And we have different body types. The wildlife conservationist is a curvy Barbie. Is the photojournalist a tall Barbie? No, she's about the same size as a classic Barbie. But if we want to make her taller, then the Barbie basketball player is a great option. Time for a little switcheroo. Everyone, say it with me. Off with their heads. Whoa, it's a pretty good match. I dip her hair in a little hot water, then quickly comb it down and allow it to dry to remove the bump out of her hair. But will she be able to fit the clothes? Only one way to find out. That's a yes for the shirt, a kind of for the pants, and a no for the shoes. But I am loving that increased articulation. And I would love to find a way to reuse the packaging. Maybe we can make a museum backdrop? Craft time! I am going to recycle the packaging to make a museum scene for our dolls. Start by pulling the sides apart, remove the plastic and tape the cutouts closed. Separate the two sides, trim it to clean the edges, take cardboard, glue down the packaging, use more cardboard to make a floor, Cover the floor with scrapbook paper, cut long rectangles of black foam board, and glue them right under the pictures. Add one to the bottom of the wall and top. Cut words from the packaging, glue them onto the wall to cover some of the cutouts on the box. I've got some planets from one of Froggy Boy's old science projects. We can glue them onto the background and cut the clear plastic from the packaging on the bend so we can glue it onto the wall to make a shelf to hold accessories. Paint wooden dowels silver, cut two in half, making two six-inch poles. Glue them onto the floor in front of the foam board. Glue a long strip of foam board going across at an angle. Glue cutouts from the box on top to make a doll museum, featuring many of the accessories from our National Geographic dolls. And out of the accessories, the telescope and the camera are totally must-haves. For the dollhouse, of course, when our Nat Geo Barbies aren't using them. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at the National Geographic Barbies, made a made-to-move National Geographic Barbie, and recycled the packaging to make a museum. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time for another unbox daily and that's our collection for now